Hi boys and girls, my name is Teresa Hirshhorn. I'm a nurse practitioner with the Northwell Health System. I work in cardiology, which is the heart, and I work in a specific area of cardiology called electrophysiology. The heart functions as a pump, but in order for the heart to function as a pump, it has electrical conduction. So I specialize in patients who have illnesses with their electrical conduction of their heart. One of the things I do is check and monitor pacemakers, which are little implantable devices that doctors can put inside of a patient's heart in order to help the heart pump and provide the heart with electrical conduction. I am a nurse practitioner, I'm not a doctor, but one of my favorite children's heart books is Doc to Doc. It's Tony and Jace learn about the heart. The sun shone brightly through Tony and Jace's window as they sat on the floor playing a game of chess. Their little sister Debbie lay on the bed watching. Is someone going to move, asked Debbie. Ah, Jace, hurry up. You're taking forever, Tony said. Jace stared at the chessboard. Don't rush me, I'm thinking. Just when Jace was about to make his move, Tony's tablet made a dinging noise that sounded like a doorbell. He recognized that sound. Mom was calling them on the video. He jumped up, ran over, and tapped the screen to answer the video call. His mom appeared with a big smile on her face and wearing her white coat. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. I've got a cool patient here. Do you and Jace want to help me take care of him? Tony's eyes lit up. Of course. Mom smiled. Great. I'm sending you his information now. Oh, and remember to let your sister know that when she gets a little older, she can start helping too. Okay, Mom, we'll tell her. Tony ended the call, then turned to his brother. Jace, we have to finish the game later. Mom needs our help. Jace looked at his sister. You heard what he said, Debbie. We've got work to do. Go play somewhere else. But I want to play doctor too, said Debbie. You're not old enough yet. This is serious business. We can play later. Joyce, Jace pointed to the door and shooed her away. Tony and Jace loved helping people and wanted to be doctors like their parents. They enjoyed learning about all the awesome parts of the body and were always excited when their mom called them about a patient. It's Mr. Redding, Tony said while studying his tablet. He's worried he might have heart problems and he's having some strange symptoms right now. Simp what? Jace is scratching his chin. Symptom, said Tony. It's a sign that something might be wrong with his body. Tony smiled. He knew exactly what to do. Mom and Dad always taught them that if they needed help, they would call special types of doctors for different parts of the body. Tony looked at Jace. I'm going to call Dr. Stevens. He can help us. He's a cardiologist. A cardio what? Asked Jace. A cardiologist, said Tony. That means he's a doctor who takes care of people's hearts. Tony tapped his tablet screen to start the video call, then waited a few moments. Dr. Stevens here, said a warm, kind voice. Dr. Stevens had graying hair, square glasses, and a friendly smile. Ah, Tony and Jace, what's going on? Tony explained Mr. Redding's problems while Jace emailed Mr. Redding's medical history to Dr. Stevens for review. Okay. I understand now, said Dr. Stevens. Boys, let's review a few things first. Do you know where your heart is? Yep, that's easy, Jay said, as he pointed to his left chest. It's over here. Dr. Stevens smiled. Brilliant, Chase. You're right. Now let's see what it really looks like. 
Suddenly, a colorful image of the human heart popped up as Dr. Stevens continued teaching. The heart is very important. It pumps blood through the body. But why do we need blood, asked Jace. Dr. Stevens said blood carries oxygen and nutrients to all the different parts of your body. Just think about it. Right now, your heart is pumping blood to your brain, to your kidneys, and to your lungs. If they don't get oxygen, they'll stop working. I definitely need a lot of oxygen, Tony grinningly said. I want my body to keep working right. Your rib cage protects your heart, said Jace. I know that much. My teacher taught me that. Wow, said Tony, that's super cool. Your rib cage is like having a knight's armor built into your body. Very true, said Dr. Stevens. Let's take a closer look at the heart. It has four chambers, the left atrium, the right atrium, the left ventricle, and the right ventricle. The blood has to go through all of them to get to the rest of the body. Awesome, said Jace. Tony tapped the screen again, and another picture of a heart appeared. This time, the boys could see inside of it. These are also four, there are also four valves, Dr. Stevens continued. See, these valves make sure the blood goes only one way. We don't want blood going backward, do we, boys? No, sir, said Jace. Our body is like a really cool machine. Dr. Stevens, Tony said, what do you think is the coolest thing about the heart? Now, that's a hard question, Dr. Stevens, said Dr. Stevens. There are so many awesome things. Jace threw up his hand to stop Dr. Stevens to get his attention. You have to pick one. Okay, here's my favorite. Your heart can beat about 100,000 times a day. Can you believe that? Whoa, Tony looks surprised. I can't even count to 100,000. That's a lot. Dr. Stevens laughed. Back to business, boys. Tell me more about your patient. Okay, said Tony as he continued to explain the rest of Mr. Redding's symptoms. What do you think, Junior Docs? asked Dr. Stevens. I think Mr. Redding needs to see a cardiologist like you, Jace said with a proud smile. That's a doctor that takes care of hearts. Dr. Stevens nodded. I think you're right, Jace. Send him my way and I'll help take care of him. I'm referring him to you right away, doctor, said Tony. I'll see him today, Dr. Stevens replied. And, that, and make sure that Mr. Redding knows to call 911 if he has an emergency. Jace waved goodbye. We'll do that. Once the call with Dr. Stevens was over, the boys returned to their game of chess. They were very happy that they had learned many cool things about the heart while helping Mr. Redding. Hearing her brothers playing again, Debbie peeked back in the bedroom. Can I come in now? Come on in, sis, Jace said. You can play me after I beat Tony. At dinner that night, Tony and Jace told their parents about everything they learned while helping Mr. Redding. Great job, guys, said Mom. We're so proud of you. Mr. Redding was very happy that you helped refer him to a cardiologist. He's going to do great. Dad nodded his head in agreement. You guys did excellent. But remember to keep studying so you can learn about other parts of the body. There will be a lot more people for you to help. All done. <laughs> I hope.